Over the last 30 years, Carl Stewart has survived not one, but two different kidney transplants. But today, his kidneys aren't his only health concern. Like nearly 9 out of 10 other transplant patients, Carl has also developed skin cancer. You know, it's like a kick in the teeth when you find out that there's something else that's you got to deal with. Uh, but at the same time, it's like, okay, what I got to do to make it better? What Carl has to do is take every minute outside seriously. Even when the sun isn't shining, UV rays are still a threat. The problem is the medicine he takes. It weakens Carl's immune system so his body won't reject his new kidney, but it also puts him at risk. With the medications we have now, patients live a much longer life. They're doing much better, but this is a consequence of that good thing. We have to worry about skin cancer. For years, doctors didn't think there was much they could do, but Ann Van Buskirk at Ohio State University Medical Center has made a discovery in the lab that might help. She found that certain cells in the immune system, called CD4 cells, appear to play a much more important role in protecting the skin from tumors than first thought. Transplant patients have fewer CD4 cells than most of us. So, if we know what the CD4 cells are doing, we can compensate for that and try to treat and prevent these cancers before they start. For example, scientists could create lotions that mimic CD4 cells or activate them in the body. For patients who've already gotten a second lease on life with a transplant, that might help them live that life more fully. At Ohio State University Medical Center, this is Clark Powell reporting.